Well, good evening, everybody. If it is a Thursday night in central Minnesota in the middle of summer, which yeah. is what it feels like outside, there's got to be an activity going on. Tonight's no exception. Welcome tonight to the Little Falls Flyer Gymnasium, where the Flyer girls take on the Ricori Spartan girls in a non-conference battle. Central Lakes used to be part of both these conferences, but now Little Falls went to Grand Ridge, and Ricori went to the Central Lakes. This is Dave Grutz along with my co-anchor, Leanne Grosso. Leanne, welcome tonight again. How you thank doing? Thank you. Thank you, Dave. Just fine. Good to be here. Well, you know what? Tonight's matchup is going to fit two teams that used to be together in the conference, now in separate conferences, but in the same section. And ricori has got a tough conference. They're 2-4 uh, and four in the CLC. They've lost to the likes of Apollo and Tech and Wilmer and Alexandria. Little Falls, on the other hand, in the Granite Ridge Conference, is 2-1, and one, suffering their first loss. Uh, this week to Mora. So this is going to be a tough matchup between these two teams. Definitely. Always has been and always will be, I think. I think that they're going to probably keep some of these CLC teams on the schedule tonight. There's one, one game they have together. And uh, Little Falls came into this game the last time we did our broadcast. They were 5-0. and oh. I know it. And they had a little slump going on. And who got injured? Uh, Annie Pluff. She got injured down when they were down at Wilmer. Really bad sprain. Um, and I guess she just Got in a few minutes at Mora, but looks like she's starting tonight. So here we got the school song. And Annie's got her ankle taped up, yep. that's for sure. The school band under the direction of Jonathan Laflamme will be playing the uh, school song and then the national anthem in just a few seconds. The flag's being presented tonight by the Veterans Foreign Wars Club 1112, post-1112 in Little Falls, Minnesota. So we'll watch. we'll watch for them in just a few seconds as they do the national anthem. And I think they've uh, <laughs> went on the school song and forgot that They're the National Anthem is coming up. Yeah. We ask you to please stand up and honor the United States. And here we go with the National Anthem. Okay. VFW Post 1112 in Little Falls, Minnesota. And singing our National Anthem. Please remove your caps and remain standing until the colors leave the floor. Tonight's color guard is from the Art of Bernard VFW Post 1112. Members of the color guard are Bruce Stiller, Dennis McGinnis, Jim Lang, and Gregory Rowe. And there's the presentation of the colors <coughs> as we do every night during a basketball game or wrestling match, honoring our country. Yes, it's so nice that they're able to come and do that in it person. It is wonderful. Yep. Both them and the VFW alternating games here. Well, we got some great basketball action for you tonight. We have to talk a little bit in the near future about Whitney Wise from Little Fall oh, yeah. breaking the all-school scoring record. One of the 1,000 point member clubs just like you. Ah, uh, yes. That, I know she did that last year. Mm. But yes, it's wonderful that that happened. Uh, now I think she can, not that she wasn't relaxed before, but she can just go on and keep racking up the points. That was an 18-year-old. Incredible. Yeah. Here's the starting lineup for Ricori. Number three, Ashley, Ashley Seville, a sophomore. She'll go against Annie Pluff. Annie Pluff's got that ankle wrapped up. Andy Plup, a uh, senior this year, missed a couple games with a sprained ankle, badly sprained ankle at Wilmer. Next for Little Falls, number 21, Mariah Burns. She's been Mariah, really coming on, scoring. She came on really good against Mora. 
uh, and against, when Whitney scored her 1,400 uh, point there, she had a lot of points. Jennifer Ortner's coming out, number 25. Uh, senior, she'll be watched by number 13, Maggie Young. For Ricori, number 15, Kim Ficker. And she'll be watched by number 31, Michaela Jorgensen. Michaela, a senior also. And for Ricori, number 33, Heather Berman. And here she is, a leading point scorer in Little Falls girls basketball history. Whitney Wise, number 32. Whitney Wise on her way to Wisconsin to swim. Amazing. Yes, it is. Two to be Yes, two sport athlete. Very amazing. So clear off our it, table oh, here just I for know. a second. I brought too many treats for us, Dave. <laughs> I love the Snickers. <laughs> our officials tonight, Joel Lofstrom and Kevin Ruin. Talking to them before the game. I told them please don't ruin the game. No pun intended. Aha, uh -huh, good one. And jumping for Recory will be number three, or number thirty three, excuse me, Heather Bierman. And Whitney Wise for Little Falls. Little Falls coming off some tough losses. Uh, just looking at some of their records that they had. Man, they got beat by Fergus Falls, Wilmer, Piers, Thief River, and Mora. I'd like to come back here. They're 2-1 and one on the Granite Ridge. They're on top of the Granite Ridge Conference. And Weiss controls the tap to Jennifer Hortness, and Jorgensen brings it across the timeline. We're underway here. Oh, and a big steal by number five, Shania Schmitz. Schmitz puts it up and good. So Ricori breaks the ice with a basket by Schmitz. 17.45 to go. I want to thank our great Flyer Media Productions crew. I'll introduce them in a little while. Our camera people, our producers, directors up in the booth upstairs, my co-partners in crime, Jerry Abraham and Karen Warner. Another steal by Ricori, Ashley Sveal. Only a sophomore. Oh, man. Passes to Schmitz, and Schmitz has four points tonight. Wow. That's not the way that uh, Coach Deb Y.A. wants to start out. Amanda Glenn's coaching Ricori her second year, Ooh. and there's that two-point shot by Michaela Jorgensen. Michaela breaks the ice for Little Falls, and Deb Yelanimi Allen in her 14th season here in Little Falls. Teaching. Yes, teaching. Not <laughs> coach. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Fifth year as a head coach, I think. Right? Yes. Mm-hmm. 16.59 to go. A little falls down 4-2 to two right now. Recorded with those two baskets by Shania Schmitz. And little falls in the man-to-man -man defense right now. Nice tip out by Michaela Burn, Mariah Burns. And little falls gives the ball back to Recorded on the turnover. Thanks for joining us tonight. The temperature today, Leanne, 49 oh, degrees. I know. I heard it. I was. I didn't get outside till after I coached basketball. So I just got out as the sun was setting, but it was like still 40, I bet. Well, speaking of basketball, the B squad won 41 to 32. And I don't know about the ninth grade. Did you find out about um, ninth grade? Katie Hoach playing the assistant. She kind of said they lost, and she showed me about 15 points or so. Okay. So, yeah. So, Ricori misses the shot, rebounded by Whitney Wise. Mariah Burns steps in and has the ball knocked out of bounds by Ricori. Little Falls coming off the bench. We'll have Jessica Hanowski and Katie Stewart, Britton Conley. And Jennifer Ronning. Jamie Jenks, too. Oh, Jamie's been doing nice a good job. job. Whitney Wise. Muscled her way in there. Another basket for Whitney. And Leanne, she had her 1,400th point. Yes. So uh, Whitney Wise. Oh, she's. She broke the scoring record. She had 1418, and she still scored another 10 that game, and she already has another 15. And. Uh, they're just going to keep on coming. We love it. Broke that 18-year-old record held by Annie Just from Little Falls. Jorgensen, another Ooh, one. Wow. Michaela puts a second one in. Three. She's got four points Three tonight. for three. Yeah. And Leon's keeping track of shots. Yep. And she's using her iPad calculator. I'm so happy. Oh, me what too. What is three for three percentage? Hey, hey it's 100. Shot oh. by Ricoy, rebounded by Mariah Burns. See, you caught me off guard. No, they missed one. Yep, one two-pointer okay. there. 15-53 to go. Six to four. Little Falls up early in the game. Thanks for joining us tonight Ooh. for our media productions live on the Little Falls oh. website. Thanks to our great technician, Jerry Abraham, upstairs for getting this broadcast made live at the last possible minute. you got to thank him, Leanne. I uh, thank you. This is awesome. Coming off the bench, Jamie Jenks with the pink shoes replaces Michaela Jorgensen. And Michaela just got a foul, so that's why I think she's coming out. I think you're right. First foul on Michaela, first team foul on either team. 15.54 or 15.44 to go. 
Annie looks like she's moving well on that Boy, ankle. Playing that press from her is a one-woman team. Mike. Annie Ooh. on the ground steals the ball and a foul. Number 15 for Ricori gets called for the foul. Kim Ficker. That's Ficker's first foul. Ficker's only a sophomore. Well, they called it on Spiel. Uh, they well, I guess well. I'll take that off my score, but I thought it was on Ficker. Six to four, one team foul apiece for Ricori and Little Falls. Jamie Jenks in the game, as I mentioned. Jenks on the right side. Ricori playing an aggressive oh, man. They nice give a nice pass. cut by Annie Pluff. <gasps> Pluff gives it away. She got bumped there, if you ask me. <laughs> and the referees did not call anything. Mm -hmm. Maggie Young with the steal. Shania Smith with the ball right now. Whitney Why or Jamie Jenks tips it away just for a second. Spiel drives, puts it up, it's good. Ashley Spiel with her first basket. Six to six tie in the game here tonight. It's a really aggressive game. I mean, they're playing tough. Oh, Look at that, they're ball hawking everywhere. Mariah Burns Ooh. gets fouled big time. That's on number 33, Heather Bierman. Her first foul, the team's second. And that will be a, should be a shooting foul, I think. Oh no, I guess not. They called it out of bounds. In the game for Ricori, number 25, Kristen Mayer, replacing number 15, Kim Ficker. 14.49 to go early, 6-6 six, six right now. Thanks for joining us again at Fly Media Productions, our Little Falls High School Media Production Club, in concert with Central Minnesota Access Television Channel 6, run by Jerry Abraham. We welcome you to tonight's broadcast, and our great camera crew and technical crew upstairs. We thank them for putting the time in, giving great video broadcasts, and thanks to iHi for letting us stream this live, and Channel 6 for letting us run it on tape oh. later. Boy, Whitney Wise pulls the ball away. But up comes Bierman with the ball, and Ricori comes off with it. No shots, boy, 6-6, six to 14-24 six, to go. 13, Maggie Young kicks it out to Spiel. Boy, Spiel is fast down the she lane. She is fast. And that ball was out oh. of bounds. Oh, she slid. <laughs> she did, she actually had her foot out of bounds, and. And came in from out of bounds. Uh, Maggie Young, she's only a ninth grader, so she is pretty young out there. Now, Ricori is 2-4 and four in the CLC, oh. Coach Glenn's told me. And uh, looking for some big wins. Oh, nice young drive. Team. Annie Pluff puts it up. Nice shot from Annie. Jamie yes. Jenks with a rebound. Puts it up. Rebounded by number five, Spiel. Spiel is everywhere on the floor. 14 minutes to go. 6-6 six to six here. Little Falls looking for another win after their first Granite Ridge loss. Tamora on Tuesday night. Big three-pointer by Spiel. No good. Whitney comes up with a rebound. That's Whitney's third rebound tonight, too. I should be keeping track of that. You good might job. have to. Ooh, Burns, Burns with a nice Burns. layup. Mariah Burns breaks the ice for her first basket of the night. Coming in, Jessica Nowski off the bench as soon as that next whistle blows. Annie Pluff. Boy, is she aggressive on defense. Spiel drives the lane, puts it up. Foul. Looks like Jennifer Hortness will be called for the foul. We'll see what uh, referee Joel Lofstrom says. That's number 25. That's a two-shot foul. There's only two team fouls for each team right now. Sveal puts it up. Good. Good shot. Three points <coughs> for Sveal tonight. Coming in uh, Jessica Hanowski and Michaela Jorgensen. Annie Pluff's going to get a rest and Jamie Jenks is going to get a rest. Jamie Jenks coming off of that ACL injury. I know, season, this she, is... She's strong. She is strong. She worked hard to come back, and she's looking good. It's great. Spiel, four points tonight for her. 13-26 to go. 8-8 eight, eight, all knotted up here in the first half. Little Falls Flyer basketball on Little Falls Flyer Media Productions and I High. Jennifer Ortness on the right side. Nice break by Michaela Jorgensen, but she couldn't handle the ball. And up comes uh, Kristen Mayer with the ball. Mayer to Spiel. Spiel. Man-to-man -man defense still by Little Falls. Nice switch by Jessica Hanowski. Knocks the ball away, and Hanowski pulls the rebound down. Wow, she's everywhere, too. Mm -hmm. Jorgensen crosses the timeline. 12.51 to go, and timeout time called out. by Deb Yelenimi Allen. So now, Liam, we got a little time to talk about Whitney Wise. Oh, yeah. Oh, my goodness gracious. Whitney breaks the record against, uh, this was Apollo at the Pine Country Holiday Classic right here in Little Falls. Yes, the Christmas tournament. Yeah, two Thursdays ago, two weeks ago. She broke an 18-year-old record held by Annie Just. <laughs> I can't yes, believe it. Yes, but, you know, I have a correction to well, make, you Dave, because 
Well, that's the girls' record, but ah. the overall record, if I still remember right, is held by Nate Miller, you know, the school yes. record of overall points, yes. right? Yes, I believe it's not It's not Ryan Lager, it's probably Nate Miller. Right? Yes, because I remember it was Ryan Lager, and then Nate, Nate broke it. they used to play all the time yes. in their driveway, and Nate looked up to him one day and said, you know, I'm going to beat that record. <laughs> I don't know, I just that's heard that story. Urban legend. Yes. Well, anyway, Whitney broke a long-standing girls' record. Oh, definitely. And it's unbelievable. 1,400 plus she's, points. She's going to break it by a lot. Oh, there's Burns. Burns. Mariah Burns drives, gets the foul in the basket. Mariah Burns has four points tonight. 10 to 8. Little falls up by two. And she'll go to the line for one more. Coming in off the bench, number 20, Jill Rothstein. She'll replace 33, Heather Bierman. So Rothstein comes in. Burns gets another shot. And uh, kind of a fast-paced game, but a low-scoring one so far. Yeah, they're really aggressive. They're going at it, and it's fun Burns to watch. misses the free throw, rebounded by Sveal. Sveal takes it out. Andy Puff's not back yet. She's resting that ankle. Sveal with the ball. Watch closely by Burns. Oh, Whitney Wise with a steal, but she bumps in. That's a good call yeah, by the official. She was just being aggressive. And she was. That foul was on Whitney, Whitney. and uh, she fouled Joe Rothstein, but it's a away from the basket foul. Three team fouls apiece for each team right now. No over and back because she didn't have possession in the front court. 25, Kristen Mayer with the ball to Sveal. Sveal to Schmitz, oh. and Schmitz gets fouled by Hanowski. Yep, just caught her with a knee. She's yes, trying she to cut her off. That's a fourth team foul, Jessica's first. Yeah, Little Falls just has, each person has one, so nobody in foul trouble. Coming in off the bench, Jennifer Ronning. Jen Ooh. put on a good show for us the last time we were here. 12-17 to go, 10-8. to eight. Just about midway through the first half. Whitney oh, Wise with a steal. She comes up with the ball. She's watched by Sveal. Wise takes the base. Back, Ronning. No good. Gets her own nice rebound. Puts it up. Boom! Yeah. Jennifer Ronning with a basket on her own rebound. Nice move. She took it aggressively in. And Whitney Great. Wise with a beautiful steal. He just kind of picked the pocket of Ricori down low on the inbounds and tipped out of bounds by Spiel. Ashley Spiel just couldn't get the handle on it. And Annie Puff comes back in the game. And for Ricori, number 15, Ficker is back. And 41, Abby Piney for the first time. 11.53 to go, 12 to 8. Just about midway through the first half here at Little Falls Flyer Gymnasium against the former CLC rival Ricori Spartans. Wise turns a oh. little hook shot like Jerry Cool. Yeah. And it's rebounded by 41, Piney. And Schmitz crosses the timeline with it after the pass from Piney. Nice move by Schmitz. Annie Puff reaches, no good. Baskets up one more time. And Whitney with a fifth rebound of the evening. Boy, Whitney's just got, she's got height on everybody. I think she's the tallest player on the floor. They don't have the heights listed. But no. Whitney, I think, goes 5'11 or 6 six foot. Yeah, I think they got her at 6 or 6'1". Six Maybe 6'1". Six one. Annie Pluff gets Ooh. pushed by Shania Schmitz, and that Schmitz is first foul. Away from the ball, so this will be an out-of-bounds play for Little Falls. Four fouls apiece, and the bonus goes into effect after seven fouls. 11-14 to go. Boy, it's been a kind of a slow scoring game, but a fast-paced game. Wise with a nice cut. Oh, nice. And she does it. Je Jessica Hanowski with a great feed. Whitney Wise has four points tonight. Little Falls opens up a six-point lead, the biggest lead of the night for them. Oh, oh nice block. block. <laughs> well, she's got five rebounds and one block. That was good. Oh, my gosh. Nice job by Whitney. She could be a volleyball player if she wasn't a swimmer. That's <laughs> no sure. kidding. And she's going on a scholarship for swimming yes. to Madison. They might have to They'll probably get her to play basketball, well, too. they will, maybe. <laughs> Three-sport athlete. Annie Plupp, hand in the face of Schmitz. Schmitz. Travel. Oh, nice defense by the Flyers. Coach Yaw has them really being aggressive and using their feet. It's fun. But for Annie with her ankle, she, yeah. her feet are still moving like crazy. And Jorgensen passes into Plupp. 10.49 to go, 14 to 8. Swings it over to Ronning on the right side. Back to Wise. Ricori in a, they're kind of in a collapsing zone right now. Michaela Jorgensen nice. wide open. She's got six points tonight. That was a two, eh? 
Wow, yeah. 60 to 8, 1031 to go, forcing the halfway mark. Schmitz drives, rebound number six for Whitney Wise. And Annie Pluff comes up with the ball after the pass, oh, and a nice oh, steal oh. by Schmitz. Shania Schmitz all the way down, coast to coast, boom, basket. Oh. Schmitz has six points. And you know what? There's only two scorers for uh, Ricori, Schmitz and Steele. They have all ten points for the Spartans. Over to Pluff, fakes the three as it poked away by Schmitz. Jorgensen, don't leave her open for that three. Wise with a turnaround, hook shot, no good. Hanowski almost had the rebound, and there she comes up with it. <laughs> Whitney gets another chance. Jessica's wide open, decides to pass it up. Annie Pluff drives. Oh, she drew the foul. That was a great drive. Nice job by Pluff. It is an aggressive game. Number Definitely. 20. Jill Rothstein, that's her first foul. Team's fifth. Nine total fouls, and Annie gets to shoot two here. Let's see. Annie's uh, free throw percentage is 52%. Boy, she just missed that one. Corey coming back in, number 33, Beerman, uh, number 15, Ficker, number 20, Rothstein still in there. And I believe that Schmitz is still in. Nope, uh, that's Spiel. Any second one, nice and straight, boom, in. That's her first point of the night. And he's been doing it all on defense right now. Definitely. Spiel crosses the timeline, watched by Pluff. Left side. Oh, that cut to cross. That Off Piney. Foot. Boy, Piney had a nice pass, but it got kicked out of bounds by Ricori. And Jamie Jenks will take it out of bounds. Pluff going to cross the timeline here. 9.31 to go. 17 to 10. Seven point lead. Biggest lead for Little Falls. Ronning right side. Annie looks, passes that three pointer up back to Ronning. Back to Annie. Wide open is Jamie Jenks. She's going to drive base, puts it up. In. Oh, yeah. She has a nice quick step to the basket. Great drive. Boy, anybody that's going to try to guard her has got to keep their feet moving. Right. She is so fast. I think she blinds you with the pink shoes, too. Yeah, she does. Piney puts it up and in. Abby Piney with her first basket. 19 to 12. A little falls up by seven still. 8.59 to go in the first half. Annie Pluff crosses the line. Jamie Jenks with that move again. Baseline move back to Wise. Passes up the three. Annie Pluff with the ball. And it looks like uh, Ricori's running a box and one on Whitney. They got somebody on her all time, well, they, 15, and they almost have in a zone. And yeah, you know what? Yeah. She's only got uh, four points, but she's a threat anywhere. Yeah, definitely. When well, I have Wise and Jenks in there, both can drop step. They can go to the basket. Wow, yeah. box and one is that going to work? Well, the other girls are shooting and making them so they can maybe hang off Whitney. So it's it's working. Thicker, boy. Oh, nice team Ashley Spiel went across court to get that ball. Oof. Whitney Wise with a long pass from Annie Pluff. Back to Pluff. Got Pluff, Burns, Hortness, uh, Jenks, and Wise out there. And oh, there's a foul Annie. that's on Annie. A little reaching foul. Yep. Hortness is working hard inside, posting up. Annie's first foul, running, coming back in. She's going to give uh, Whitney a raise. And... Whitney needs a little break every once in a while. 19 to 12 here, 8-19 to go. Back in the game, Shania Schmitz, replacing Spiel. A lot of S's. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to get tongue-tied like this. Susie sells seashells at the seashell <laughs> line. 8-16 to go, 19 to 12. Nice pass all across the middle. Jamie Jenks bumped the ball out of number 13, Maggie Young's hands, and Annie Puff comes up with that. Wolf crosses the timeline, 8.04 to go, 19 to 12. Burns, baseline, nice pick set. Horton set a beautiful pick, and Mariah used it but couldn't score, and uh, timeout. Coach Amanda Glenns calls a timeout. Got the ref's attention. That's the first timeout for them in the first half. It's a full? Full, it looked like a full timeout. Mm -hmm. 7.57 to go, and boy, well, Ian, it's kind of a, well, the score has kind of picked up a little bit, but what are we doing for shots? Eight for 16 on well, so two pointer. Yeah. For Little and Falls. Ricori is. Five for 11. Wow. Just under 50% for them. So, so they're both shooting 50 50. No three pointers taken yet in the game. I two, uh, two each, okay. Yeah, but nobody made nobody one. Nobody made yet. anything. The free throws. 
looking like uh, one for three for the Flyers and two for two okay. for Ricori is what I have and it's just being it's a really aggressive game I mean for Little Falls with balanced scoring right now Burns has four <coughs> Jorgensen six wise four Jinx two running two plus one and all the points from uh, Ricori Ashley Spiel with four Shania Schmitz with six and Abby Piney with two only three people scoring and two of the starters and one non-starter scoring Hmm. So Coach Glenn's has got her work cut out for them if uh, they're going to stop Little Falls' attack underneath. 7.57 to go after the timeout. Thanks for joining us here on uh, Little Falls Community High School's basketball court, the Flyers. Thanks to our video production club, our camera people tonight, Neil Eisenheimer, Phoenix Wise, and Alex Warzeka. Our camera runner, Brittany James, and Cody Crow, the big runner, up in the booth, Ooh. Eric Van Ark on graphics, and Emily Donaski directing, and audio, Andrew Walvogel. And this is Karen Warner, my partner in crime, along with Jerry Abraham from Channel 6. And my partner down here, Leanne Grosser. Oh, we thank welcome you, you Dave. Gee, how do you remember all those names? You're good. But Something in my me. head. <laughs> Shot by number 41, Piney goes awry. And Jamie Jakes oh. breaks out all the way down. Boy, she's got a nice layup. Jamie is just so controlled. It's so good to see you're healthy. That's what I get. And we uh, missed her last great. year. Oh, definitely. Boy, that was a big loss. Mm -hmm. Oh, right into Mariah Burns' hands. She's got Pluff. Burns takes it herself, oh. and she does it. Six points for Mariah Burns, 23-12. to 12. Little Falls opens up an 11-point lead with 7-12 to go in the first half. And Ricori. Wow. <laughs> another Bears. steal by Annie Pluff. Puts it up. Oh. A little hard on the rebound, and she's out of bounds. And he was on the line. What a nice play by Pluff. She's smiling right now. <laughs> <laughs> Michaela Jorgensen comes in for her, and Annie Pluff is a little tired out. You know, not playing for four games kind of tuckers you out, too. Yes, definitely. I just, wow, I'm just amazed by her speed and her agility with that ankle. Boy, and it's taped up, but it uh, must be a good tape job because she's doing a great job. Spiel crosses the timeline, watched by Jenks. Little Falls still in a man-to-man. -man. Long shot by number 13, Maggie Young with her first basket of the night. Two points for her. 23-14, Little Falls up. Jenks, Jorgensen, the guards right now. Nice pass to Hortness. Oh, Kicks beautiful. it up to Ronnie. Tipped out of bounds by Ricoy. Great nice teamwork play. there. That's great. Hortness did a nice job of turning behind her, and she knew right where Ronnie was. That was really nice. Good teamwork. Jessica Hanowski in the game, running out. Burns looking for Jinx. Oh, Jinx uh, puts it up a little hard on the left side, left-handed lip. Jinx has got another chance, uh, and Ricori just walked away from her. And Jinx is still fighting for the ball. There's a foul on Ricori. She's laughing. She's racking up her rebounds. She got two rebounds in that sequence. That's number 43. No, it's not 40, 33. Beerman, her second foul. And the next foul puts Little Falls in the bonus. Running back into Jamie Jenks after she took a little tumble. Jamie got two rebounds and two shots off in that series. <laughs> and Ricori peeled off the basket like they thought they had the rebound. Jorgensen, Burns, turn around. Oh, yes. yes. Nice play. Mariah Burns with eight points tonight. A little turnaround jumper from about six feet away. 6-13 to go. 25-14. to 14. Little Falls opens up another 11-point league. Short shot by number 15, Ficker, and rebounded by Burns. 6.02 to go. Burns having a little trouble getting across mm -hmm. the timeline. Passes to Jorgensen. And it looks like Little Falls could pick this defense apart if they just get underneath. Oh, Hortness, oh bad pass. Tipped away by number 20, Rostein. Shani, or, uh, Spiel with the ball. Shot by Nice rebound by Anowski. Boy. Jessica with another rebound. And uh, Whitney Wise not in the game for a few minutes. Nice play by Hortness, her first basket. Jennifer Hortness has two points tonight. 27-14. Little falls up by 13 points. Shot. Sveal. You can't let her go. Sveal has six points. Oh, that was yeah. Schmitz. I'm sorry. I got the wrong oh one. Oh, my. That was Schmitz. My Schmitz. fault on that. Schmitz, Schmitz with eight points. <laughs> yeah, I put it in the wrong person. Hanowski. Nice pass to Hortness, turn around, eight foot. Oh, good. good job. Yeah, it was a nice shot. Just turns strong and she puts her up. Those assists are coming from everybody on the Little Falls team and uh, Amanda Glenn calls a timeout. 
Whitney Wise coming back in for Little Falls. 5-0-1 to go, 29-16, to 16, a 13-point Little lead. Falls had a great run there. Wow, they're pressing them and stealing it and making those layups so important. Anything you tell your people on the bench right now is uh, Coach Deb Y.A., are they doing everything well? They have to watch something? They just, uh, I think uh, they have to be a little more careful with their passes. You know, fake to make a pass right now. They've had some, they've had some great passes, but they've also been... Um, threw it in their hands a couple times, and uh, Ricori's jumps at anything, it seems like, so I would fake more. They so sure have done that since the beginning of the game, too. They were. Yes. They're very fast. Uh, little Falls passing. I don't have a turnover stat, but they've lost a couple passes in a row here. Back in the game, Whitney Wise. So Wise, Hanowski, Jorgensen, Burns, and Hortness in Little Falls. For Ricori, we've got Rothstein, Mayer, Sveal, Ooh, over and back. Oh, man, she did cross the timeline. <laughs> Surprising to feel. Uh, and number 25, Mayer and uh, Shania Schmitz in for Ricori. Jorgensen with the ball from Hanowski. Crosses the timeline back to Jessica, right side. Oh, tipped away. Nice defense. And that's out of bounds. Boy, Ashley Spiel has got quick hands. She does have quick hands. Wow. And she is just a speed demon on the court, too. I wonder what she does in the fall. What do you I, think? I would think it's a cross-country runner. <laughs> or, or volleyball. Or soccer. Or soccer, yeah. Oh, nice shot by Hortness. Well, that's Jessica Hanowski they gave it to. Oh. Wow, first basket for Jess. I thought it was uh, Jessica Hortness. Or Jennifer Hortness, but it's Jessica Hanowski. Over in the corner, Young with the ball. Kicks it out. Schmitz drives, puts it up. No good. Rebound right into Whitney's Whitney. hands. Six rebounds for Whitney. Seven rebounds for Whitney right now. One block shot. 4.19 to go. 31-16. Little Falls almost doubling up the score here. Burns. Nice Ooh. dip move. Boy, she's got to be happy with that move. Just get that shot down. Nice play by Spiel to get the ball out of bounds off a Little Falls player. Burns and Jenks and actually a lot of the players on uh, Coach Yaw's team do a great job of getting the ball and going with that first step. And it's fake and yeah, recorded out every time. Definitely. Corner Young with the ball. Back to Schmitz. Schmitz to Sveal. Three-pointer, the first one. It's good. Sveal with a three-point shot. Boy, if she gets hot, that could be the difference in the game here. 31-19. You can't let her open that long. 3.46 to go. Nice cut by Wise. Comes up with the ball. Horton is no-look pass. Oh, oh he got away with a travel there. <laughs> and she puts the ball up a little bit hard. Back out to Jorgensen. Hortness left side. Back to Michaela. Wise, little spin move there. Back to Hortness. Michaela Burns for about 18. No good. Off the rim. Nice rebound by Whitney. That's eight rebounds, and Whitney scores again on an offensive rebound. Six points for Whitney tonight. 33 to 19. Little Falls just walking all over Little Falls. Nice cut. What a beautiful cut by Ricori. That was number 30 or 20. Rothstein passing the ball to 25. Mayor. Ricori running that flex offense that they just always got that pick away and cut them across. Coming in the game 23, Britton Conley the first time for Little Falls. And he puffed back in the game too. So Conley, nice to see a new face in there. Schmitz, 14 footer, no good. Rebound by Whitney, that's number nine for her. Oh, nice hustle by Hanowski. And Annie Pluff got hit in the head. Oh, boy. <laughs> yeah, she's It'll okay. take she's her mind off her ankle, right? <laughs> <Rubbing her chair>. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. <laughs> my mind over my foot. Three minutes mm. to go. 33-19. Good pass in to Mayer. Mayer. Long shot by Rothstein. No good. Rebounded by Whitney. That's number 10 mm. for Whitney. Annie Pluff crosses the timeline. Nice dribbling exhibition. Nice move. Beautiful feed. And great pass. By Britton Conley. What an assist. Oh. Whitney Wise now has eight points tonight. They add to her 1,400-point plus total. Maggie Young over in the corner. And that was a, like a two-shot foul. I thought that she traveled, but she got fouled. Looks like it was on Annie, maybe? Or yep, you got it. Okay. Annie Pluff. Her second, I believe. Second foul. That puts uh, Ricori in the bonus. This is a two-shot foul that was shooting the bonus for the duration of the first half here. Mayer. Oh, in and out. No good. Back into the fire. 
Mayor has no points tonight. Jamie Jenks coming back in and Abby Piney back in, coming in for Rothstein. 2.28 to go, second shot coming up by Mayor. Mayor eyes this shot up. And it's mm. good. McCorry three for four on free throws. Kristen Mayer with her first point of the night. 2.25 to go, 35-20. Nice pass out of bounds. Whitney without saving the ball, pass it to Hortness. And that ball looks like it's held. Unless they're calling a foul. Yep, they are, 35. That's uh, Jess Hanowski. Second foul. And that's the eighth team foul. This is going to be a shooting foul. 35-20. Thanks again for joining us here tonight. Little Falls Flyer Athletics. And then Whoops. Deb Y.A. is coming up and talking to the ref, and a fan says, give her a T. Oh. <laughs> There's no seatbelt rule was in that, basketball. Was that anymore. Brink? Oh, just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah, so Coach Y.A. is still John with the referee and explaining the call. Oh, somebody's tying their oh, shoe. Oh, I was actually. wondering what's going on. I was wondering what's on. going on. Recording's got a person <laughs> with their shoe off. It looks like number 25. Kristen Mirror, I thought they were talking to the... Uh, ref is talking to Coach Deb Y.A. about something. It was just letting the uh, recording player get her shoe tied. Kristen Mayer. So, Shania Schmidt's at the line. This one's good. So she's got another shot coming. Shania Smith, she hasn't scored for a while, but she's got 11 points. 35-21, a 14-point lead for Little Falls. Schmitz, second one, mm. nice shot. Wow, Ricori's come back. They've uh, five for six on their free throws. Little Falls is not be careful. shooting too well on free throws. We'll see what happens now. Horton is from 12, no good. Hanowski with the rebound, it's in. Nice. Jessica Hanowski. Great offensive rebounds we've been getting. Four points for her tonight. And Schmitz crosses the timeline. Ball's dished away to Mayer. Mayer puts it up. Foul. Oh, yep. jinx. And Jamie got a little aggressive there. He was way past her. So that's on 33, Jamie Jinx. Foul's on number 33, Jinx. Yeah, I think she's a... Coach Y.A. has given both of the refs a little talking to right Definitely. now. Definitely. Yep. Coach's prerogative, isn't that, Leanne? You bet. You bet. First shot by Mayer is good. That's oh. her second free throw. Two points tonight for her. 37-23, still 14-point lead for Little Falls. 155 to go here in the first half. Mayer. Another one good. Jeez. From the line, three shots there, three points. Hanowski crosses the timeline. Weiss, nice pass to Hortness, puts it up. A little strong. Jessica with a rebound, a foul. This foul looks like it's going to be on number 13, Maggie Young. We'll see. Maggie Young with the foul. Boy, nice, aggressive. That's Jessica Hanowski's fourth rebound on offense right now. She's put two of them back. I, she can rebound. She can jump. You saw her play volleyball this year. She can nice, nice shot. shot. By she is 50% right now in the year. Good deal. Mm -hmm. so five points for uh, Jessica Hanowski at the line for her second shot. Jess puts it up and in. Hanowski has uh, six points tonight. You're watching this live broadcast on Flyer Media Productions on IHI at the Little Falls Community High School website. Three-point shot. That's a two-point shot, number 41. Abby Piney with four points tonight. Nice shot by Piney. Wonder if she's related to any Pineys here in Little Falls. She could be. Hortness mm -hmm. gets away with that pass. Um, that is Britton Conley still in. Jenks tries to pull up. Gives it to Whitney. Boy, she's collapsed upon. Ooh, the ref wants something. Traveling. So she walked with the ball, and Coach Y.A. is uh, maybe going to have to sit down here in a minute <laughs> because uh, she's ahead by 13 points, but uh, some of the calls haven't been going her way. 117 to go, 39-26, nine fouls for Little Falls, seven for Ricori, both teams in the bonus. Give and go, Schmitz turns. 12 footer, nice. it's good. Schmitz, she all, leads all scorers for Ricori. 246, 8, 10, 12 points. Mm. 59 seconds to go. Pass almost got away from Burns. 39, 28. 
Oh, nice Burns! Burn. Gets the ball back and buries one. She's wow. got 10 points tonight. Mariah Burns quietly has 10 points. 41-28. Nice block by Wet Wise. That's her second block. She's got 10 rebounds, two blocks, and eight points. Uh, Schwiel, no good. Rebounded by Jenks. Jenks' ball gets away from her. Double oh, dribble, yeah. shoot. Good call. Yeah. 27 seconds ago, she couldn't handle the ball. Number 42. First time Michaela Gao coming in the Ooh, game. Ooh, all right. So Gao gets some playing time. Whitney Wise is going to do a little press. And Jess Hanowski coming back in the game, too. She'll replace Jamie Jenks. And they're giving Jamie good rest, too, with that uh, recent ACL comeback. Yes. She's got a big brace on, so she's uh, moving pretty nice. Schmitz with the ball. Schmitz watched by Hanowski. Big long pass to Young. Young over to Mayer. Mayer back to Schmitz. Schmitz looking. Sveal wide open underneath for a second. Boy, they let her go. And oh, Schmitz. Block. I think that was a block again from uh, Whitney. Whitney Wise, I'll give that a block. That's Good. three blocks. Ten rebounds, three blocks, ten points. Almost, we're getting double doubles here, maybe. Hey, I love it. <laughs> yes. I, didn't, I haven't had a sister. So <laughs> I forgot to do the Kevin Love. Six seconds to go. Burns comes across the timeline, puts it up. And yes. oh, oh, it's a limb in and out. No good. And that's the end of the first half here. Little Falls of 41, Ricori 28 at the half. For Little Falls scoring, I'll go through the score real quick. For uh, Little Falls, first of all, Annie Pliff has one point, Burns has 10. Jennifer Horton is four, Michaela Jorgensen six, Whitney Wise eight, Jamie Jenks four, Jessica Kanowski six, and Jennifer Ronning two. And uh, for Ricori, boy, really kind of unbalanced scoring. Ashley Sveal has nine points, Shania Smith's 12, Maggie Young two, Kristen Mayer three, Abby Piney four, for a team total of 28. Wow, what about the shots going Whoa, on? Look at some percentages here. Yeah, I'll oh, talk oh, a little oh, bit oh. about some of the other things. Okay. Whitney Wise, 10 rebounds, 4 blocked shots. Oh, my gosh. 10 points. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Is right. And I... Ooh, thank you. some percentages here. Okay, Little Falls has shot 18 out of 37. 37. So they're shooting 48%. Wow, that's great. And Ricori is 7, wow. seven, seven for 22, so they're about 33%. Wow. Yes. Little Falls has the advantage on shots. Uh, advantage on the points, of course, 41 to 28. And uh, out-rebounding Ricori on offense and defense. Whitney Wise alone with 10. Uh, Jessica Hanowski with four beautiful yes. rebounds. Offensive rebounds, too. Little Falls is doing a great job of getting those offensive rebounds. That's where all their baskets have been coming from, and that's made a big difference. Um, well, we have musical basketball ooh, chairs right now here. Yes. We're going to take just a short break from announcing and uh, put the headsets down for a second as you watch the little halftime show here and the Little Falls Flyer Band under the direction of Mr. Jonathan Laflamme. They'll be playing some tunes for us, and here go the basketball girls. This is Dave Gertz along with Leon Gross. We'll be back in about uh, eight minutes. Thanks Perfect. for joining us. Well, that's on 33 G. Sorensen here in Little Falls. And a Hall of Famer. Hall of Famer, yes. Hey, speaking of which, Leanne. Ooh, yes. Oh, hi. Hi, <laughs> hi. I did not know that. Uh, speaking of a Hall of Famers, I've got a little uh, tidbit of information here that Leanne told me. They're G having more inductees of the Hall of Fame in Little Falls. Uh, Leo Meyer, a football yep. athlete. Tom Palacino from 1977 in cross country and track. Don Hohalter, world class gymnast. Yes, and awesome Katie Brenny, incredible golfer. Uh huh. Sherwin Goodrich, track and field and football coach. And Roger Fergin, a teacher here in Little Falls. Baseball, football, and basketball. So that's coming up. January 28th. January. Yep, Saturday, yeah. January 28th at halftime of the boys' game, and there's a reception and things at the Cabin Fever after. Nice. We're going to watch the second half of basketball here. Little Falls up 41 to 28. Ricori gets the ball. There has been no held balls here, so that's the first time change of possessions mm -hmm. happened on a ball beginning of the quarter. Andy Pluff kicks the rebound out of bounds, but it's off of the foot of number five, Shania Schmitz. We've got in the game Burns, Weiss, Hortness. Michaela Jorgensen and Annie Pluff, the starting five, back in for Ricori Sveal, Schmitz. Uh, it's Ficker, Young, 
and Bierman, the starting five for them. Burns pulls up from 12, no good. Rebounded by Jorgensen. She puts it up from 15 feet, no good. And there's a foul underneath. Looks like a push foul. This could be on Whitney. No, it's on number 25, Jennifer Hortness. Jennifer's got two fouls. Both teams got into the bonus in the first half. 17-28 to go, 41-28, no scoring so far in the second half. A little wayward pass by Sveal, and Jorgensen will inbound it. So, Leanne, what do you think uh, Amanda mm -hmm. Glenn tells her girls, former conference rivals, now they're in separate conferences, but, boy, Little Falls would like to be a... Uh, of course, I'd like to beat Little Falls, obviously. Oh, yes, definitely. That was a bit of strong. I think she said you guys got to start rebounding. <laughs> you and, think? yeah. Traveling violation nullifies a basket here. Yeah, the rebounding has been uh, definitely in favor of Little Falls right now. Wise with 10 by herself, Hanowski with 4. And I haven't counted all the other ones. 17.02 to go in the second half here. No scoring in the second half. And Little Falls game. in a zone. Looks like a zone. Shot, no good by Ficker. Rebounded by Hortness. Ball slips away from her. Back into Ficker's hands. Nice pass underneath. That's Bierman. Boy, a little sloppy play by Ricori. Blocked again by Wise. That's her fifth block of the night. She has Slapped arms. away by Michaela Jorgensen and Annie Prosans. Annie's going all the way. Oh, yeah. She gets the blocking <coughs> foul called against her. She just goes full force. Nothing's going to stop her. She is an amazing athlete. Senior this year, little Annie Pluff. Number, number five, Shania Schmitz. That's her second foul. Team's uh, first foul. Annie Pluff goes in for these free throws. No good, but she hasn't shot well from the line tonight. Only one for four. Hmm. So far. 50% normally. Yeah. Yep, so. Annie Pluff's second one. That's oh, out. Boy, in, in and, out. and out. No good. So the score still stays 41 to 28. Kind of a slow moving second half starting out here. 16 23 to go. Ricori. Seville. Over in the corner back to Schmitz. Almost has to get away from her. Back to Seville. Oh, nice steal by Michaela Jorgensen. Going from the half court line. Puts it up from about eight feet. No good. Ooh. Rebounded by Beerman. Big rebound by Heather Beerman. Well, she just uh, pulled yeah, up a little bit short. Over to Spiel. Back in the corner to Ficker. Ficker, no good. Rebounded, eh, tipped away by Mariah Burns. Right into Schmitz's hands. Spiel comes up. Beerman, wide open, number 13. Young puts it in. Wow, they uh, really, the wings really shoot quickly there for Ricori. I mean, they hit that Beerman and they put it out to the wings and boom, they're putting it up. Blue Falls got a little uh, lax there on defense. She was wide open. And it's 41 to 30. Ricori opens the half with the first basket of the game. Oh, and gets away from Michaela Jorgensen. But it was tipped out of bounds by Ricori. Oh, yeah, I thought Ricori, but That's, Ricori seems upset about it. I thought so too, but uh, Jamie Jenks coming in for Michaela Jorgensen. It's going to be Little Falls' ball, and coaches Dave, from Ricori. David don't like doesn't that like that. Not at all. Annie Pluff with the ball. Back to Jenks. Jenks goes base. Oh. Little block. No good. Puts it up a little strong. Boy, that was a tough defensive move on Bierman. Boy, Jamie Jenks just walked around her. Bierman put a hip out. No call. 15-22 to go. 41-30. to Low scoring second half right now. Bierman only a sophomore, actually, for McCoy. They got a pretty young team. That's part of their problem, I would think, too, for mm -hmm. Coach Amanda Glenn's. A little young youth on the team. Rebounded by Bierman. A big push underneath, and there's a traveling call. And that was actually a good call because uh, she did move before she fell. Ball's being set on the ground Ooh. for Annie Pluff. The refs are just making this game a little bit tighter right now. They must have to go somewhere, huh? Jamie Jenks <laughs> kicks it back out to Annie Pluff. Refs don't go anywhere. Oh. Big travel call there. Looks like they're still doing their boxing one on Whitney. You know, and they've, uh, they've tried to contain Whitney. She's got mm -hmm. 10 points tonight, but Jenks... Mm. Uh, a slow scoring four points for her, but she could erupt in the second half. 41 to 30. Annie Pluff with incredible defense. Over to Ficker. Passes to Schmitz. Schmitz takes the shot. No good. Tipped out of bounds by Ricori. That'll be Little Falls' ball. There's uh, more turnovers in this second half than there are points. 
14.46 to go, 41 to 30. Annie Pluff dances across the timeline. Jamie Jenks in guard with her. Burns it forward, drives base, puts it up from eight feet, no good. And there's a foul. Oh. Looks like it's over the back on Mariah Burns. We'll see what the referees call. Yep, number 21. Yeah. That's only Mariah's first foul. So she's not in That's any good. trouble. And a timeout, 30-second timeout called by Little Falls. Hmm. Kind of talk things over. Well, it's kind of slow points. moving. Yeah, it is. It, it's not like they came out and <laughs> with fire. So I don't know if uh, Little Falls will probably put that full court press back on maybe. Maybe they will. Get everybody it. rocking and rolling. Force the action. 41-28 at halftime. It's 41-30 to 30 right now. And we've played uh, almost five minutes of this second half. So Little Falls, uh, Coach Y.A. talks to her players about getting something going, maybe a little press like you mentioned. And nobody's in foul trouble, right? No, nobody's okay. in foul trouble. The most fouls, Annie Cliff has two, Jennifer Horton has two, and Jessica Nowski too. All right, so, so no. Not a big deal with fouls. Uh, for Ricori, Bierman has two fouls, and Shania Schmitz has two fouls. Well, they're not putting on the full press, but Annie Pluff, of course, puts a three-quarter press on. Pluff watching real closely as Schmitz crosses the line. Schmitz. Ooh, little back door. Ficker, Ficker, back in. No good shot by number 13, Young. Kicks it back out to Schmitz. And that's that third rebound by Ricori in the Ricor second half. Oh. And there goes Sveal, puts it up, nice blocked block by again. Whitney Wise. That is number six, seven blocks for Whitney Wise tonight. And Ricori's running that one across, one four across, it looks like, and they're really trying to pull little falls out so that they can do their back door. Boy, Whitney Wise has just done everything mm. tonight. Scoring, rebounding, blocking. A member of the 1400 point club, the leading scorer for Little Falls Flyer girls athlete of all oh. time. Oh, big shot slapped down by Schmitz, or Spiel. Jenks, and Annie Pluff can't handle it, and Annie Pluff just smiles. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Jessica Nelsie coming in for Jennifer Hortness. What did you say the halftime score was? It was 41-28. Okay, I thought so, because I have them. They made one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine. They're like one for 11, Ricori wow. is. Wow, shooting 10%. Mm -hmm. That does not make any coach happy. Number 15, Ficker, down to Schmitz. Big, hard shot by Schmitz. Puts it up, Whitney Weiss Whitney. comes up with the rebound. That's Whitney, I'm going to her 11 rebounds on that one. And Lil Falls back in a man-to-man. -man. Foul on number 15, that's uh, Maggie Young. Uh, Ficker, Kim Ficker, excuse me. Kim Ficker's first foul. Annie Pluff gets the ball inbounds from Jamie Jenks. Running the course, and she kind of pulls up. Letting Spiel catch up to her. And they got the box, don't they? Mm -hmm. They got 15 cover, girl, you bet. Oh, out, of out of bounds, hits the strap. Annie Pluff tries a three-pointer. In for recording number 25, Kristen Mayer. Mayer with three points tonight. Out for recording number 15, Ficker. 41 to 30. There's only been two points scored in the last wow. six minutes. Wow. So a really low scoring. And this doesn't, uh, this could be in Ricori's favor. They've got the only basket. They're running an offense, but they're just not shooting anything that's going in. Schmitz puts it up strong. No good. Rebounded by Annie Pluff. Wolf crosses the timeline, looking for help, falls down, gets back up. Timeout. Oh, timeout. Time out. <laughs> <laughs> looked time like a foul. Out. Yeah. <laughs> Coach Y.A. calls a timeout. Wow, what do you yeah. tell your players now? Yeah, I, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> just got to keep being aggressive and not, just got to contain Ricori. They're just, right now it looks like Ricori's, driving it up and just throwing it. They've not got their smooth shot going. You said one for 11. You bet. No, wow. it's That's amazing. Two points in the second half. That's scored by Rick One Corey. for 13 now, Ooh, Dave. Maggie Young with the basket. And Little Falls has not zero scored for a six. point. Zero for six. Whoa. Actually, zero for seven. They missed a three. three yeah. Yep. So. Well, the bright spot in the second half, uh, Whitney Weiss has another block. She's got seven blocks. Wow. <laughs> 11 More rebounds. rebounds. Wow. And how many points? Uh, she's got 10 points. Ooh, double-double. Yeah. Double. Yeah. Maybe yeah, she'll, she'll get double in the blocks. No, I, she hasn't been doing a lot of assisting, though. Yeah. I but think she the doesn't open it about blocks. Well, right. she, oh, okay. Right. Anyway, oops. Uh, uh, let's get some scoring going. Our, just so it's us. 41 to 30 here. 
Thanks for joining us tonight, Little Falls Flyer Basketball Live on iHi at the Little Falls Community High School website at www.lfalls.k12.mn.us. You look in the lower left-hand corner, click on the Flyer Activities, and you'll see the game. That and Amanda, you are great. Oop. That's good. <laughs> no, I was just saying Amanda Glanz. She looks pretty young. Yes, she uh, second year. She's probably just out of college. Wow. Think. That shot went up no good. Little Falls puts another one up and no good. Sveal running the offense right now. Little Falls in a, it's like a 2-3 zone. Little switch shot. Schmitz, no good. Oh, taken away by Whitney Wise. And there's a foul. That's going to be on number 25, I believe. Oh, number 13. 20, oh, 13. Maybe young. I, uh, wow. Maggie Young, second foul, team's third. Jenks inbound from wow. Jessica Nowski. I was just looking again here. I mean, they only have one senior on this whole Ricori team. Yeah, so definitely a young Ooh. team. Good for them. Burns looking for the shot. Just about a three-pointer, nice. but she buries it. Mariah Burns breaks the stalemate here. Little Falls with two points in the second half. What a 19-footer from Mariah Burns. Bierman drives. Whitney Wise all over her. Sveal, no good, but oh, she's put up four rebounds. shots and nothing's been going good. And Jessica Nowski, rebound number five for her. Ooh. And a foul. That's, a, that's kind of a frustration foul. Yeah, she five. got hit in the mouth too. That had to hurt. Shania Schmitz, her second foul, 43 to 30. And uh, I was going to say, at the Christmas tournament, I saw that first round. It was kind of neat, all the Sri Lanka yes. girls that had played. You know, their um, Bernsey is their niece. Well, that's nice. I didn't mm -hmm. know that. Yeah. She's a, uh, her dad, no, how is it? Her, her mom was a Schlanka. Oh, Jessica Nowski with a nice shot. Rebound, sixth rebound of the night. Kicks it away. In the game is uh, Jennifer Ronning. Back to Hanowski. Michaela Jorgensen back in the game, too. Coach Wye would like the girls to play a little bit more under control, too. Take advantage of uh, the low scoring by Ricori. They gave uh, Mariah Burns a three-pointer on that. No, they didn't. I'm sorry. That was a two-pointer. It was 41-20. I looked at the score. I thought, well, it was a three-pointer. Burns, no good. Rebounded by 25, Kristen Mayer. And Mayer finally gets it out to Schmitz. Schmitz is going to cross the timeline. 11-31 to go, 43-30. to Number 13, there she goes. Nice. Maggie Young, two-pointer. Mm. They got four points this half now. And all by Maggie Young. She's got four points, and she's got six points in the game. And Jorgensen with a little trouble. Ricori putting on some moves. Whitney Weiss, ill-advised pass taken away by Ricori. Bierman passes it up to Schmitz. Schmitz puts it up no good, rebounded by Burns to Jorgensen. They've got to slow things, get their game back here, mm -hmm. Little Falls does. Boy, Ricori starting to press on defense right now, pushing the ball right in the face of Little Falls. Burns, 18-footer, take that no good. Rebounded by Sveal, and Hanowski falls down. Oh, yes. They call the travel. Oh, they call the travel, they not did. a foul. Yeah. Okay. okay. That was just an inadvertent yep, she didn't nudge by Jessica. So Little Falls gets the ball and a timeout, full timeout called by Coach Amanda Glenns, and she'll talk to her team. I don't know what to tell you. 43-32, the game, uh, score at halftime was 41-28. Wow. So six points total scored in the second half. Very uh, slow, slow-paced game here. Definitely compared to the first half, yeah. and maybe it's too hot outside. It's cold in here. I don't know. I was, gonna, I was <laughs> saying when you were off camera, we were going to play beach volleyball instead of basketball. Ooh, it's yeah. so warm out. All oh. the snow is gone. <sighs> Those poor, poor, poor Nordic skiers. Yes, uh, Nordic skiers. Uh, Coach Joe Donaski back here looking at uh, no snow. They've been practicing in... Uh, St. Cloud, I believe. I believe it, yeah. Hey, some upcoming events coming on uh, Flyer Media Productions right here in Little Falls Flyer Gymnasium. On the 20th, Little Falls Boys Basketball. The Little Falls Boys are on a tear right now. Mm -hmm. Only one loss. They're just, just manhandling just what everybody they have played. They play Princeton, Princeton Tigers, uh, Granite Ridge Conference full. Friday the 20th right here, Rick Shabluski will be here for that game with me. And then on the 31st of January, Mike Olson and I will be broadcasting the Foley Little Falls wrestling match. Ah. And of course, everybody's anticipating this because Foley, big tradition in the Granite Ridge Conference, they're some of the best wrestlers in the state. 
And Little Falls, of course, proud wrestling program. We'll see what that mm -hmm. does. Mike Olsen will join me for that. Ooh, nice pass. Oh. Weiss gets it finally. Although I thought we were going that way for a moment. Well, you know what? <laughs> They're putting the press on. Yeah. Ricori's got the press going. I think Coach Glenn said, let's get these girls to get that ball passed a little bit more. And they're boxing in Whitney Wise. They're scared of her. Andy Pulver, the three-pointer, oh. in and out, no good. Picked up by Kim Ficker. 10-26 to go, 43-32. to Only six points in this second half between both of these teams. Ficker drives from 11 feet, no good. Oh, it puts itself in after it hit the rim. Ficker, that's her first points of the night. Little magic basket there. Yes. Mariah Burns with the ball. Oh, they're really all over Whitney. Look at them. They're not going to let her get anything open. Burns, Little Falls got to find a way to get some points scored without anything from uh, Whitney Wise. Flicks it over to Burns. Wide open left side, but she decides to let that go. That baseline is wide open with this box. Little Falls can just take their time. They, they don't can. have to rush. But 43-34, Ricori's come back. Wise blocked. She's knocked down and no call. Yeah. Oh boy, Coach Y.A. is uh, letting uh, referee Kevin Ruin have it right now. Oh, no. I was, thought he was going to call it T. 9.39 <laughs> to go, 43-34. to 34. Boy, Ricori has worked themselves back into this game. Little Falls is up by as much as 15. Actually, by, uh, they're up double digits. 31-16 uh, to 16 was the highest they've been up in. Mariah Burns with a rebound. She's come on with two rebounds in the second. Oh, oh boy, that was lucky. with an over and back mm -hmm. call there. Referee had left his position across there. Hanowski saves the ball right into the hands of Mayer. Mayer, right side, oh. pulls up, and she travels. <laughs> oh, boy. She forgot her suitcase. She did. Two tickets to Pittsburgh there. <laughs> 9.08 to go, 43-34. to 34. Thanks again for watching our Flyer Media production. Live from Little Falls Flyer Gymnasium. We'll have it on tape for you on Channel 6 for local viewing. And thanks a lot to all the people involved. Oh, boy. Crosses the timeline. The ball is slapped out of Annie Plus hands. And Ricori is putting on some nice mm -hmm. aggressive defense right now. Little Falls has got to take advantage of this. Jenks into Ronning. Ronning's got Annie Plus behind her as a safety valve. Over to Jenks. There's the baseline drive. Jenks puts it up a little strong. Tipped out of bounds by Little Falls. Jennifer Horton is back in the game for Little Falls. You know, Jamie Jenks a couple times has gone to that left side and just hasn't made that left-handed layup. Nope, she goes so strong, it's like she's got power. Crossing the timeline, Schmitz. Annie Pluff on her. Back to Mayer. Mayer to Bierman. Bierman. Nice shot, wide open shot oh, by Oh, good Ficker. rebound. And that's Jennifer Horton's his first rebound. Horton is loose to the ball, but Jamie Jenks picks it up, crosses the timeline. Oh, Ronning missed the pass. Oh, that There's was. <gasps> Beerman. Ooh. Yeah, that was not she good got... for the ball. 33, Heather Beerman with her third foul. And Beerman, yeah, she couldn't stop. But that Jenks is so tough. Look at her. She's smiling after getting nailed <laughs> yes. in the back. And she says, <laughs> Coach, I'm going to stay in. Yeah. 8.28 to go, 43-34. Little Falls only up by nine points. They led by as much as uh, 16 points, and they're only up by five. Annie Puff, three-pointer, puts it up, backs off, no good. Whitney Wise, that's rebound number 12. Jenks from 12, no good, and there's a foul. That fouls on number 15, Kim Ficker. Boy, she's picked up two fouls in the second half. It's a shooting foul, and Jamie Jenks will go to the line. All right. 8.14 to go here in the second half. 43-34. Little Falls only scores two points, and there's a third point. Jamie Jenks, nice shot. Uh, five points, and in for Sveal, in for Ricori Sveal. In for Sveal, Ricori is <laughs> 8-14 to go, 44-34. Little Falls gets a 10-point lead back. Jenks in and out, and there's a cross-the-line foul, a violation. Okay, Little Falls across the line, so they get a violation. No basket, and Little Falls loses the ball. Schmitz watched by Pluff. Annie Pluff still moves her feet so well, even with a busted ankle. Annie Pluff still on her. Over to Young. 
Back to Schmitz, puts it up a little strong on the right side. Jennifer Horton is a ah. second rebound. Grabs it and swings her arms and gets the ball out. Michaela Jorgensen, Annie Puff, wide open, drives. Nice dish to Horton as puts it up no Keep good. Up. Jen back again to Michaela Jorgensen from the free throw line. Nice there goes Jamie there. left side She's and she got did it. it. And gets fouled too. Jamie Jenks finally got that left hand a little bit softer and she's got the basket and the foul. Fouls on number 13. That's Maggie Young. And that, that is, uh, yep, Maggie Young, her third foul. Jamie will shoot one. Boom, Jamie puts it in. Three point play. Well, Jamie has uh, four points this half and Mariah Burns has the other two. 47-34, Little Falls scoring six points. A little flurry there. Ricori, Young, over to Sveal. Three-second violation. Yeah. Travel? I think they got a three-second three violation okay. in the lane. Yep. They're moving it out of the lane. Jorgensen with the ball. It's a turnover. That's not many turnovers so far for Ricori. Wise comes all the way down from her center post position to get the ball, and they cross the timeline, and a little press by Ricori, putting a little uh, wind in the fire here. Oh, right. oh boy, almost a beautiful pass yeah. by Whitney Weiss. She had Jamie Jenks wide open, too. 7-13 to go, 47-34, Little Falls back up by 13 points on the little six-point run. Ricari working the ball around. Oh, nice block Schmitz. for Whitney. That is number 13. Ooh. I mean, number shooting. Number wow. eight blocks. <laughs> I was yeah. say. 13 rebounds. Okay. Wow. 6.53 to go, 47-34. Little Falls has quietly opened back up a 13-point lead. Annie Pluff has the ball slapped away by Schmitz all the way. Puts it up and in. <laughs> Shania Schmitz, her first points of the second half, and Coach Y.A. is going to have a talk here. Yeah, Little well, Falls just has to take care of that ball on there. You know, Ricori's not giving up. They're still pressing. And well, Coach Amanda Glenn's him. team has shown some defensive life here. Mm -hmm. Nice job there. Uh, 6.39 to go, 47 to 36. Thanks again for joining us tonight. This broadcast produced by the Flyer Media Productions Club here at the Little Falls Community High School. We get great support from our athletic director, Aaron Sinclair, over here. My cohorts in crime, Karen Warner and Jerry Abraham. And our great crew once again tonight on camera. We have Phoenix Weiss and Neil Eisenheimer and Alex Warzeka, our spotter, Brittany James, our runner, Cody Kroll, River Stump doing the producing tonight, Emily Donaski directing, Eric Van Ark on graphics, and Andrew Walvogel on sound. Thanks a lot for watching tonight. Uh, Friday the 20th, we have our game against Princeton Boys. And January 31st, Foley Wrestling comes to Little Falls. Oh! Ball gets tipped out by Annie Pluff on that play. Michaela Jorgensen passed it a little strong, and Pluff tipped it. 6.38 to go. Inbounding Ficker to Schmitz. Watched by Annie Pluff. Little Falls in a man-to-man -man defense right now, too. Bierman. Nice cut by Sveal, oh. and she puts it in. That's Ashley Sveal's first basket of the second half. 47-38, a nine-point lead for Little Falls. Nice cut by Annie Pluff, picked up by Hanowski. That's the first held ball of the game, the second half. They did call one in the first half. So Little Falls gets it on the change of possession. 6-14 to go. I think that's the best thing they ever did is eliminate the jump ball. Oh, you're not kidding. Especially in girls' basketball. Oh, I mean, yeah. I remember jumping. Oh, yeah. I know. And it's, oh, yeah. Oh, there's a travel. Schmitz traveled yes. with the ball. Michaela Burns got in her face, and uh, Schmitz took a couple steps. I was in a round. I might, might have been in college, but what about that rule where it was you couldn't foul out? Oh, yeah. That was on. I don't know how many years that went on, but, yeah. No. Uh, how would you do that, you know? <laughs> I know. Annie Puff with the ball. Back to Jorgensen. They're doing, they're still box. Well, Whitney Wise is not in there right now, so there's nobody to box. Oh, Jessica Hanowski nice with a basket. Backdoor pass. Hanowski's got eight points. Little Falls 50 to 38, a 12 point lead here. Schmitz to Spiel, playing catch right now. Over to Young. Back to Schmitz. Young. Young's going to hit the baseline, wide open base, and she she's uncontested there. She gets the rebound. 
Foul on Burns or Hortness, one of the two. 21. Burns. That's Mariah's second foul. 5.26 to go, 49 to 38. And Little Falls has three fouls. Ricori has seven. This is a two-shot foul. A little strong. Beerman. She has no free throw. She has no points tonight. She started tonight, and she's oh. got no points and three fouls. I wonder what her average is. Who knows? I don't have that stat. Oh, come on, Dave. I know, I know. I'm working on it. <laughs> this is two. Rebounded nicely by Young. Oh, boy. And Schmitz tosses it out of bounds. Oh, it's off Jennifer Hortness. Little Falls doesn't get possession of this one. Kim Ficker inbounding the ball. Ficker to Schmidt. Schmidt's nice move. Boy, but Jessica Ganowski moves her feet. Takes her right out of the play. So they have to reset up here. Schmitz to Sveal. Good Spiel. defense by Jargi. Boy, Michaela's defense. just on her left mm -hmm. and right, left and right. Little Falls backing off in a little two, zone, three, a two, yeah. three zone. Nice, D. Tip oh. away by Janowski. Tip Assist. right in the hands of number 15. Assist by Janowski. Ficker. Oh, that she has four points. Little Falls is to slow down. Boy, the, uh, that was a Jennifer Hortons, excuse me. Boy, she just barreled into a Ricori defender. Oh, good and move. Call. The Ricori coaches did not like that one. 440 to go, 49-40. Hortness, back to Hanowski. Cutting Burns, in and out, no good. Rebounded by Schmitz. Shania Schmitz <sighs> crosses the timeline. Over to Sveal. Basket and a foul. Well, yeah, Spiel has four points oh. in the second half. She's going to go to the line to shoot another one. This will be their first free throws I have for Ricori this half. Well, that was on, that was Maggie Young. I thought that was Spiel. I'm sorry. That was Maggie Young that got the basket. Young has six points this half. 49-42. Ricori cuts the lead back to seven, seven for Little Falls. 4.27 to go. This is getting interesting right now. Big shot and a nice shot by Maggie Young. Maggie Young has 11 points tonight. She scored seven points in the second half. Little Falls. Nine points tonight. Working it around. Oh, no. Oh, they can't away. force. Yeah, they can't force anything. They, they can't. Can. They've got the lead. They've got to maintain the lead. Schmitz. Boy, she looked like she carried the ball, but no call there. Little dipsy doodle oh, move by 25. Oh. Mayer. And a foul. And Whitney, it looked like her block. It looked like and another that, block. Uh, he didn't call a block that time. Whitney's got eight blocks tonight. Whitney's only got two foul for two fouls and eight blocks. That's yeah. amazing. 403 to go. 49-43. Boy, Ricori is climbing back into this game. Free throw, no good. This could be won and lost at the line. Back in the game, Beerman going out. Kim Ficker. Every time you say Fitker, I want to think of Duluth. I mean, is that called Fitkers? Fitkers, yeah. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> Different spelling. Oh. Second shot. That's good. Kristen Mayer has four points all from the line tonight. 401 to go. Annie Pluffian. How oh, did she is. Yes. By oh, there, the there you go. I got to call that. Yeah. Wait Shania it. Schmitz has four fouls, if I got this right. Yep. Oh, right, that's going to that. help. Well, here's something now, Leanne. It's eight fouls, next two fouls to give double bonus for little falls. And <laughs> that Corey is going to start fouling. Oh, here. definitely. 49 44. Annie Pluff. Boy, shot is just not going for no. their free throw shooting, is not good tonight. Nope. Two for, two for six, two for six the wow. second half. 30% free throw. In and out, boy. That ball got back from Mayer really fast. Oh. Annie Pluff almost has the rebound, but Sveal comes up with it, and Schmidt sets up the offense again. So Ricori, only five points down after being down by as many as 16 points, comes back nicely in the game. Let's see what happens. 3.29 to go here. Sveal running the offense. Little Falls still backing off. 1-3-1 one, one, one or 1-2-2 one, two, two here. Oh. No good on the shot. Tipped out of bounds. Right. Little it Falls. Like, yep. Heather Beerman knocks that off of her hand. And Ricori's going to put on, they're going to put on a half-court press. Man-to-man, yep. There it is. Ooh. 
Mariah Burns coming across the timeline. Just take your time, Flyers. Oh, oh out of bounds. No need to hurry. You know, the turnovers have killed the Wolves yes, the second Yes, definitely. Half. That's... There's a lot of time left in the game. 3-10 to go, 49-44. to Little falls up by five. Ricori inbounds. Crosses the timeline. Spiel kicks it out to Bierman. Schmitz, fake move, puts it up from 12. No good. There's Whitney Weiss with a rebound. That's number 13 for Whitney. And she's back in the game. Mariah Burns kicked out of bounds. That's off of a White. Ricori player. Yep. Little well, Falls still pushing it up. They are. That, <laughs> that ball handle is just getting away from Little Falls a couple times here. 2.52 to go, 49 to 44. The fouls to give. Little Falls has two fouls to give to give Ricori the bonus. And Ricori has two fouls to give for the double bonus. Burns, he puts it up. No good. Good rebound by Jennifer Ronnie. Jennifer Ronnie in the mm -hmm. game, too. Mm -hmm. Jamie Jenks. Pluff. Burns wide open on the right side. Pluff takes it up herself. Oh! Puts it up and in. Basket's good. Wow. She threw that up and got hammered. Leanne, that's her first basket of the game. Oh, what, you're kidding. No, she has a free throw and a basket. Okay, well, let's get this free throw here. Chance for a three-point play here. And back in the game, number 15, Kim Ficker. And number five is not checked in yet, so she can't come back to Shania Schmitz. And the scorekeepers are... Notifying the officials, there's nobody. Oh, it's number five foul. It's Shania Smith's fifth foul. Oh, yes. That's why she's waiting on the bench. So Shania Schmitz fouls out with uh, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, oh. 12, 14 points. Puff misses the, the one-point shot. Ronning with the rebound. Traveling oh. called on Ronning. 51 to 44. Okay. Well, Schmitz leads all scorers for a Corey. Oh, nice steal by Annie. We got to slow down. Knocked oh. out of bounds by Burns. Nice heads up play by Ricori to slap the ball off Mariah Burns. 51 to 44. This game is far from over. Little Falls a commanding lead early in the game, but boy, they haven't they've only scored 10 points the second half. And Ricori has scored All right. 16. Another turnover by Ricori. Well, the turnovers and the free throws are gonna doom Ricori if they just don't take advantage mm -hmm. of them. Back in the game, Jorgensen and uh, Ricori calls a timeout. And looks like they're going to call a, I think they'd be calling a full timeout here. Yep. There it is. Ricori calls a full timeout. Okay. 2.21 to go. And boy, this game has gotten interesting fast. 51 to 44. Well, the story of the game right now for Little Falls, Whitney Wise quietly has 10 points, but she has seven block shots, 13 rebounds. Mm -hmm. And they, yeah, they got somebody on her all time, sometimes three people. So the other girls have had to pick up the slack. And Little Falls just needs to take their time on offense, make some good passes. You know, take their time. But they're playing a really aggressive, and the rebounds are outstanding. Little Falls outscored in this second half. Uh, 16, 16 points for a quarter, 11 for Little, 10 for Little Falls. Ooh. So they haven't scored a lot of points. Uh, Shania Schmitz leaves the game following out 14 points for Shania Schmitz. But That'll the story hurt. of the second half. Maggie Young with seven points off, off of uh, great passes and great shots. So, uh, and she's only a ninth scoring. grader, right? Ninth she's grader. She's only a ninth mm -hmm. grader, yep. Well, let's see what happens at the last 221 to go here. A Thursday night basketball live from Little Falls Flyer Gymnasium. <sighs> Broadcasting our Flyer Media Productions Club at the Little Falls High School website. Thanks to iHi and thanks to our advisors, Mrs. Warner. Mr. Abraham, and thank you, Leanne, for being the color person. Oh, uh, thank you, Dave. Nice pick set by Jamie Jenks. Coast to coast around the <laughs> basket goes Michaela Jorgensen. She's wide open for the three, decides to let it go. They got to get some good shots here. Yep, I think that's what Coach Yad told them in this timeout. There's Running a good from shot. 11, no good. Rebounded by 25. Mayer kicks it over to Sveal. Now Sveal's got to take the brunt here because Schmitz is out. And it goes in. How did that go in? Oh no, oh Ashley no. Steele oh, no. and a turnover by Little oh. Falls, 51 to 46. The Little Falls bench cannot believe it. This is what gives coaches gray hair. I believe it. And <laughs> Well, you don't have any gray hair, though. Oh, you're sweet. You know I <laughs> color it. Shot no <laughs> good by Spiel. <laughs> Rebounded by Weiss. That's Weiss's 14th rebound. Oh my, oh my girl. Kicks it over to okay. Jenks. Wide open underneath, but no. Ronnie can't find Mariah Burns, so they got to slow it Calm down. Calm down. Hold it up. 
They got the ball and they got the control. All they got to do is get the basket. Running. Back to Jorgensen. They're going to just play catch for a while. Minute 24. They're going to have to move this ball down below for a shot, though. Unless they can hold off for a minute 18. And there's a foul called. McCoy's going to be fouling. That's number 13. And they're going to let uh, Maggie Young be the sacrificial lamb here. They <laughs> have three fouls. Well, they better not. She's the top scorer. Well, she is the top <laughs> scorer right now who's left in the but game. They need to get the ball. Burns. Hopefully he can make these free throws. Now this is a double bonus too. Oh so yeah. Burns. First one good. Mariah Burns has only scored three points in the second half. She had 10 points the first half, 13 points for her tonight. Annie Pluff comes in, trying to get their free throw shooters in here too, I'm sure. Right. To get the fouls. And Mariah mm -hmm. Burns has been pretty, pretty steady. Burns the second one up. No good, really hard off the rim. Picked up by Young. Oh, stolen by Ma by Mariah Burns. Another foul. This foul is on Young, and uh, she's going to go to the bench. That's her fifth foul. Oh, I have this right. Yeah, yep, they got. She fouls yeah. out, and Young ends the game with two, four, six, eight, nine points. So Shania Schmitz fouls out with 14. Young with nine. They're two leading scorers, uh, aside from Ashley Sveal. And they've got 30 seconds to replace the player. And in the game comes number 41, Abby Piney. So they're uh, close the book on Maggie Young tonight. Five fouls, nine points. Excellent second half for Maggie. 112 to go, 52-46. Burns at the line again. I don't know if you want to foul her. There Pretty she good. goes. Mariah Burns, 14 points tonight. And I'm thinking you're going to probably not want to foul Whitney Weiss either. She's pretty decent from the there, there she is. goes, Mariah Burns second. She's warmed up now, she's ready. 17, uh, 16 points for Mariah Burns. 109 to go, 54-46. Boy, Ricori breaks that press really nicely. Behrman with a long shot, no good. Rebounded by Piney, no good. Kicked out of bounds they're missing by those, Behrman. They're missing those layups. That's what's uh, helping Little Falls out, and too. And it's, it's killing Ricori and yeah. it's helping Little Falls out. Jorgensen inbounding the ball. Annie Pluff. There he's going to put a lot of pressure on Annie Pluff. Boy, they're going to get called uh, intentional somewhere here. Mm. They're just pushing and shoving. Oh, yeah. And That's they're not going to call that intentional, although it obviously was. Oh, 33. She... Heather Brimman with her fourth foul. That's her fifth foul. I oh, I was going to say, two, three, four, that's there three people who fouled out. Beerman ends the game with five fouls and no points. 54 46, 52 seconds to go. Jennifer Ronning at the line. So, Ronning, she's got two points tonight. Good. Ronning with three points tonight, 55 46. Little Falls open up a little better lead, nine points right now. Ronning, second shot. And that's off the rim, out. Kicked out of bounds by Mariah Burns, going for her own rebound. And Little Falls is probably wise to maybe back off here, put a little pressure on, but don't foul. They have two fouls to give for the ball. Oh, nice. Nice tip by Burns. Boy, she's come on in the second half, too. Definitely. Five points. She has two rebounds. A couple of tip outs. Sveal over to Piney. Back to Spiel, three-pointer, goes oh. in, whoa! First three-pointer of this. Yes, and that, yeah. she's got both three-pointers for Ricori, and Whitney oh, Wise gets fouled. Oh, girls. All right, good, they gotta make these free throws. Well, a double bonus, that's number 15, Kim Ficker, that's her, I have her for three, yep. Announcer Cheryl Moore, right on, spot on as always. And Whitney Wise goes to the line for the first time tonight. And that first one just doesn't make, make it over the rim. Horton is coming back in for Jennifer Ronning. Little Falls back to their starting five. Burns, Pluff, uh, Jorgensen, Horton and Wise. Second one is no good. Boy, nice rebound by Jennifer Horton. That's her third rebound tonight. They're going to try to foul. Right there. Just let them foul, and they're going to put Michaela at the line, see what she can do. 
25. That's Mayor. She's got five fouls to give. So it's her first foul. 28.2 seconds to go. 55-49. Michaela Jorgensen. And she is has never shot a free throw this year yet. Wow, she's one for one then. All right. Michaela's got seven points tonight. Good for her. Mm -hmm. 28.2 seconds, 56 to 49. Seven point game here. Nice oh shots yeah. Shots by Michaela, both of them are good. So she's two for two from the line. And she's got 10 points tonight. Little Falls doesn't need to foul here. Let, let Ricori do the fouling. Long shot, three-pointer oh, goes in, number 25, one. Mayer. That's her first three-pointer. That's the third three-pointer by Ricori tonight. And Ricori's going to foul again. That's Wow, Mayer. good. Well, they're not giving up. That's for sure. Nine seconds. Nine, nine seconds to go. And, uh, you know, it, it just seems like everybody's just a little bit a step behind right now. Oof. I know. Can't explain it, but it seems like it's true. Nine seconds to go, 57-52. Boy, Little Falls has come back in the last few minutes with some points. There, Annie. Annie. She puts it in. There she goes. That's her second free throw of the night. She's got three po or four points. 58-52, to six-point lead for Little Falls. A two-possession game. Now she makes it a three-possession game. 59-52, Burns gets pushed over the timeline, steals the ball. It's a foul on Mayer again. Kristen Mayer's third foul. Did she make that last free throw? I missed she it. did, yep. Oh, goody, so nine, oh, yep. okay. 59-52, Mariah Burns at the line again. Up. That one's there, good. automatic. 11 Mariah for 20, Burns. Little Falls 11 for 20 and the free throws. Oh, just over 50%, that's pretty decent from the line. Burns, up and in, and that one does not go. Rebound by Ricori, number 41, Piney, and they got five seconds to go, no good. Well, this game will end on the free throw line. Little Falls coming away with a 60 to 52 victory against former conference rival, the Ricori Spartans, and boy, Coach Amanda Glenn's really put on some show at the end of the game, coming back from a 16-point deficit, cutting the lead to three mm -hmm. at one point, and mm -hmm. the Little Falls finally comes away with an eight-point win. Any thoughts, Leanne? Wow. It was, uh, yeah, you, the second half was totally different than the first, that's for sure, and uh, neither team really gave up. There was a lull there, but then... I don't know what to say. Well, well, I tell you what, 19 <laughs> points for oh. Little Falls in the second half. He's pointing at, oh, yes. And, uh, we 24 see. points for Ricori. We need to be their scoring Sorry. round up here right now. Annie Plup for Little Falls at five points. Mariah Burns, 10, 12, 14, 16 points. Jennifer Hortner's with four points. Michaela Jorgensen with eight. Whitney Wise with uh, 10. And Jamie Jenks had nine. Jess Hanowski had seven points. Jennifer Ronning had two points. For Ricori, Ashley Spiel, boy, she came on really strong in the second half. She ended the game with 3, 6, 9, 12, 15 points. Shania Schmitz, 14, she fouled out. Maggie Young, nine points, she fouled out. Kim Ficker with four. Kristen Mara with six points. Heather Bierman, she fouled out with no points. And Abby Piney had four points. But the story of the game, I tell you what, Whitney Wise is side scoring 10 points. 14 rebounds and seven blocked shots. So that's pretty much the game right there. I want to thank Leanne Grosso, my thank color you. person. Thank our great crew for everybody doing the game tonight. We'll be back on the 20th. Princeton boys against the Little Falls boys right here in the Flyer Gymnasium. And then on January 31st, we'll be back for Little Falls Flyers against Foley Wrestling. For everybody at the Flyer Media Productions Club, uh, for Karen Warner, my advisor, and Jerry Abraham, our CMAT advisor, and all the crew tonight, this is Dave Gertz and Leon Grasso saying good night. Good night. Bye-bye.